Hello everyone, my name is Terence Sweeney, I'm a PhD candidate with Ulster University and I'm here today to talk about my short paper of Defect Exclusive Custom Vocabulary for Classification. Uh, my project is focusing on detecting and def uh, classifying defects with semiconductor wafers in collaboration with Seagate Technologies. As we all know, semiconductors are a large industry and inspection needs becoming more vital as, as critical parts get smaller and smaller, according to Moore's Law. First, I'd like to give a small overview of what we're actually looking at. Here's a semiconductor wafer as observed in the production facility with two examples of wafer maps. Uh, these are a top-down view of the full wafer as observed through an automated defect classification machine. A lot of uh, industry and academic work focuses on using these wafer maps in order to observe defects present in the system in the wafer. Uh, this example here is given Oh, was 2013 paper where she observed a line defect using the wafer map. However, we're focused on what is known as a die image rather than the overall wafer. So as you can see here, are these small squares on the wafer, these and a high resolution image of parts on these chips is known as a die image, which is what we focus on. These parts are very small, down to several nanometers in size. Therefore, uh, automated defect classification machines are used. The standard approach in the industry is a golden image pixel pixel comparison. Uh, it's performed by specific machinery due to its size. Seagate so uses the Rudolph NSX 105 here. The critical problem with this is that for each new product or design change, a full new set of golden images is needed. Uh, for each type point, requiring many monitors, and also, the system cannot correctly classify a defect type, rather, setting it as a type 1 reject. Our aim of this project then is to use local features to detect the defect present from the wafer images, ignore the background features in order to create an autonomous system. Our current method is based on the bag of visual words technique, uh, which is a visual extension of the bag of words method used for parsing documents for important uh, code words. The visual word techniques takes image features and clusters the most similar ones to create a code book of visual words. This code book is then used conjunction for local feature detector we use surf and new images with local features detected in the new image that are similar to visual word being counted as an occurrence to the visual word and creating the histogram as seen on the right here it's a very useful technique but it can be hard to tell what each visual word is made up of we then decided to look at the custom vocabulary approach in order to improve on this so a custom vocabulary is an augmentation of the bag visual words codebook where the codebook is created is pruned or augmented in order to focus on the features you're most uh, looking for an example of a very ideal visual word is given here where the key points only focus on defects which is the overall goal we wanted to create however in order to do this it takes a lot of manners as you have to print out each visual word and look at them separately Therefore, we decided to flip the project on its head and enter in images that featured only defective points. In order to do this, we created an automated cropping system. Uh, this automated cropping system turned our 600 times 600 original images into 45 images of 100 times 100 pixels in size by cropping using a sliding window technique. An example is given here. We then select these new cropped images that possess defects and use these in the creation of the custom vocabulary. So we then applied this method to two classes, 70 scratch defect images and 100 control uh, non-defect images, uh, examples of which are given below. Um, the 50 scratch testing images were then converted into 316 defect only crops, which was used to create the custom vocabulary. This was then trained on the full images of both classes and then we tested them in order to get the classification accuracy as compared to the full image accuracy. We used an SVM with uh, varying the kernels and C penalty parameter type. As you can see here, we had a massive increase in accuracy with it going from as low as 50% up to 95% in the polynomial C equals 100 uh, test. In conclusion, the new cropping system performs well in the creation of custom vocabulary for detecting and classifying defects in semiconductor wafers. Uh, is there any questions? Thank you very much for listening.